sorry to interrupt the sleepy puppy cam. Just a few seconds of your time, I finally have a merch store, so if you'd like to support me, here are some designs that look pretty rad. I'm really excited about them, and I talk more about it at the end of the video. So enjoy the video, I'll see you afterwards, bye! So, as a kid, I had the standard childhood pets. You know, hamsters, fish, cats and dogs. But I also had a few experiences with creatures that would haunt my childhood for many years to come. Part 1. A sticky situation. I can't have been that old, maybe five or something. My precious first pet, a hamster, had recently tragically passed away. <laughs> R.I.P. Peanuts. And the only other pet that inhabited the household was my mother's old cat. Now, this cat wouldn't tolerate any affection. That thing was evil. Evil, I tell you. Anyway, so one day my dad turns up and surprises me with a cloth-covered box. <gasps> a new pet? A bunny? A mouse? A bird? Oh, it could be so many things. My dad slowly pulls off the cloth to reveal... Leaves and twigs? What kind of sick joke was this, dad? Uh, look closer. There. I stare intensely. I is that stick moving? Are these magic sticks? <laughs> no, you dummy. Uh, pretty much. They're stick insects. Now, I don't know what exactly went through my dad's head when he decided to spontaneously choose stick insects over any other pet. <gasps> it's a stick that walks the walk but lacks the talk. <laughs> I'm sold. Mother dearest, however... How can I put this politely? Flip the heck out. And guess what? Me, being a kiddo, I saw her terrified. So I assumed, like kids would, that I should be terrified too. And that, my friends, is how I became blathers. Anyway, I learned to seriously fear the poor things, so much so that my dad decided the best thing to do would be to release them into the garden hedge. Aw, look at them wild and free. I'm sure they'll be really happy out here. <gasps> Part two, a shrimp-portant lesson. I have two words, sea monkeys. I'm pretty sure most kids living in the Western world either had or knew someone that had sea monkeys, along with experiencing the disappointment that came with them. So I had sea monkeys, and well, the thing is, I only really saw the front of the box when setting it up with my parents. So all I really focused on were these tiny alien-looking fish people. That's what I expected, but as many of you know, that's not what we got. And I'd like to hench a bet that many of you fell for this too. Welcome to the cruel world of misleading advertising campaigns. Anyway, so as soon as these little brine shrimp, which is what they actually were, hatched and were visible, I figured either something had gone horribly wrong or I'd been given the wrong eggs. My parents tried to explain to me that this is what sea monkeys were, not the illustrations on the box, but I wasn't buying it. They're meant to be alien water people with lives, families, not creepy transparent shrimp things. In my kid brain, I assumed they probably weren't being fed the proper food. So I thought I was doing the right thing when I dropped various crumbs in the tank from my leftover dinners and snacks. Well, the whole tank went murky and they all died. R.I.P. Vaporeon, R.I.P. Simba, R.I.P. Garamon. I'm kidding, I didn't name them all. Or did I? Anyway, after that I had one more, slightly more horrifying experience with sea monkeys. A family friend had bought me another kit as a present for Christmas the next year, but this kit was slightly different. It came with a big bubble watch. Yes, that's right, I'd be able to take my creepy little shrimps on adventures with me. Now I'll have company for when the other kids ignore me. Only you understand me, sea monkeys. So I set up the new tank, this time fully aware that they were, in fact, brine shrimp. Also, fun fact, did you know that the first packet, the water purifier, is actually the eggs? The second pack has a bit of dye in it, so it highlights the critters that have already hatched. Sorry if I just destroyed your childhood bewilderment at the thought of instant life. <laughs> How shellfish of me. Anyway, so this watch had a rubber stopper in the side of it, so what you could do is scoop a load of sea monkeys and water from the tank and then pipette them into the watch. I can't imagine that the little shrimp could comprehend much, but that must have been a horrifying experience. But wait, it's about to get more horrifying, because there's absolutely no way this could have gone wrong, right? So I decided to take this tiny aquarium to school with me. Well, it was drawing some attention from the other kids and eventually the teacher noticed. They told me they'd have to confiscate it, as it was a distraction, but assured me not to worry because I'd get it back when school was over. 
God damn it, teacher, you just had to leave my shrimps on the sunlit windowsill on a toasty day, didn't you? Because when it was handed back to me, the water had completely drained. Uh, buttercup, moonshine, Gavin. I don't know whether I had fiddled with the rubber stopper or whether the teacher had, but the water was gone and they were baked into the bubble. Crispy. Yes, my dumbass kid brain thought I might be able to resurrect them with more water from the tank. Suffice to say, when I got home, they didn't plump up and pop back to life. I had to live the rest of my life as a sea monkey murderer, guys. Do you know how hard that is? Well, that was until... Part 3. Seriously conchurning crustaceans. As many of you know, I was a big old paleontology nerd. So when I was gifted a set of grow your own Triassic triops, as you can imagine, I was hyped. I mean, the box art looked rad. It had all kinds of dinosaurs over it, though <clears throat> none of them were actually from the Triassic. Make note companies, nerdy kids, never forget. Just saying. Anyway, I couldn't really see what these triop things were meant to look like. They were illustrated to look like water dragons on the packet. I guess the only way to truly find out was to hatch them. Now, according to the poorly printed pamphlet, there were only meant to be up to three eggs because these critters could grow to around half an inch, which is significantly bigger than sea monkeys. Well, somehow, this lucky gal ended up with seven of the darn things, which was fine when they were tiny, but what the pamphlet failed to mention was that these things had cannibalistic tendencies. Ripley, stop eating your brother. God damn it, these kids never listen to me. So these things kept shedding their exoskeletons and growing and growing. But there was one that was far bigger than the others. And over the course of a few days, it had eaten all of its tank mates. Ripley, what did I tell you? Now all of your friends are dead. Anyway, Ripley the Triop was now passing an inch in length. And yes, I did name it after Ellen Ripley in Alien because this thing was nightmarishly close looking to a face hugger with its creepy legs, three eyes and thrashing tail. Blech. This thing started giving me night terrors. I'd wake up in a sweat, terrified that this triop would crawl out of the tank and try to lay eggs in me. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have watched Alien when I was eight. <laughs> Whoopsie. Anyway, one fateful morning, I was downstairs having breakfast before school when my dad and I hear something. <laughs> it was trying to jump out of the tank. Amy, that thing really gives me the creeps. What should we- It's gonna lay eggs in me! Right! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Amy. I got scared and, and I think it's dead. Ah! <sighs> Are the RSPCA gonna come for us now? No, sweetie, that's not how it... RSPCA, open up! The thing is, anytime I use that bathroom in future, I couldn't help but make a speedy exit each time. I saw what happened to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ripley could have become a giant mutant for all I knew, awaiting their chance to climb back up the pipes and lay eggs in me. It hasn't come for me yet, but Ripley may still be out there, waiting for me. Hi, uh huh, long time no see. Uh, did you have any pets that you maybe consider a weird option or exotic or unusual? Like I have, I have my precious boy now. Can I irritate you for likes and subscribe? One, one like, one kiss for Kepler. Nom, 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 nom. Despite being around here for like two years now, I haven't had any merch going properly. So it's taken me a while to find the right company because uh, I am absolutely pro sustainability and ethics and I needed to find a company that would use dyes that have no animal products in them, that uses sustainable materials, that uses recycled materials, that's eco-friendly. So I'm working with a company called T-Mill and I'm just starting to produce some really cool t-shirt designs. I did this cool design for my character in a very magical girl style and it's just like, I see nothing, nothing. I'm holding an apple and it's really, it's, I just, I just had fun with the design. So it's a cool conversation starter. Uh, for anybody that's like, what's aphantasia? Because I think neurodiversity is something we should be talking about more. And the other is just a fun design. I want to do a series of kitties t-shirts. So 
eventually I want to do a witchy kitty, you know, nerdy kitty or whatever. Uh, but this first one's a trippy kitty. I'm just appealing to my mad creative side because they have a tie-dye tee available. So I was like, hmm, what can I make on this that would like really stand out? And I just thought, let's make a classic kitty design, but make it a bit trippy. So that's what I did. <laughs> I also want to make a shout out to my patrons. Again, helping me to support creating more stuff for the channel. All that money is going into funding equipment and potentially hiring people on to help with future videos. Now that I'm back on track with making videos, I'm definitely going to look into somebody helping me out so that I'm not all alone when I make my videos. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. If you'd like to join my Patreon, cool. If you want to support me by buying some merch, cool. If you don't and you can't afford it, that's cool. Thank you for being here. Check out my TikTok too. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go now. So bye. <laughs>